Hello, I'm Ghostly Tuna, developer of the Stream Timer, and today I'm going to give you a run through of all the features that's available in this first release. In the background, you'll see my glamorous assistant Pete helping me out. So, first, we're going to start with adding it onto a scene. So, to begin with, you go to Add a Source, create, add one existing, or create a new one, and there you go, that's where it's, it starts off. You can resize this window to wherever you want, reposition it. I'm going to move it over to here for now. It's going to look a bit plainer when you first install it. However, you've got a plethora of options of which you're able to customise this. So you can choose your timer mode, which is count up, count down and subathon. We'll talk more about these later in the video. Most have a starting duration, so here you can choose a number value and then it's either minutes, hours or days. So as I've got this set up, currently it's got a going live in minutes and seconds. You can use these labels to customise it how you want. You get a ready message, so if it's a going live, you you don't really need to care about this. But if you've got something, if, say you're speed running, for example, or starting a timer between certain events, you can ch choose it here. Or if so some sort of event starts a timer, that is a way of customising it. You've got a completed message, so when the timer counts down, you'll get an end message. You can also force this by using the stop button. Some of the other options further up, just to recap, you can start it, stop it, pause it, and reset it. Reset it will re change all the settings back to how it's beginning, so it will show you a ready message. Pausing it will obviously just pause the duration. Um, but if it goes into a pause state, you can restart by just hitting the start button again. Other customization options, you've got your style, so you've got a current font, you've got a color, You've got a font size, so you can choose to expand it or shrink it. You've got your text flourish. I use an outline, but you've also got access to shadows. These will scale with which font size you use, and you can choose the colour there. So if you want to just start up straight away, if you change the settings, hit start. So if I go start it here, and there you go. There it is, in action. Ah, oh, look at Pete. Oh, no, nope, he's, he's off. Another option is to do count up. So here you get slightly less options because they don't apply. So in this situation, I'm going to say just oh, time. And that, yeah, that'll do for now. So if I hit start, using all the similar settings as before, you can see now this one counts up. The final option is Subathon. This works similar to a countdown, however the timer can extend based on events that you enable or disable in the settings. These are like follows, subs, or even merch. You can start your basic duration, similar to how it counts down, and then you can have a Subathon time limit. So if you want to add a hard limit to how long your Subathon is, this is an option to do so. Similar settings to countdown, it's very similar, and then uses your default settings. So if I show you this in action, that's, that's ready to go. Settings saved. Yep, there we go. Uh, timer, timer, timer. Start. So there you go. Starting up time. Let's go over test widgets. Let's give it a follow. And you can see that it updates the settings automatically based on the values that we set in the settings. One final thing, I will be showing demoing this off on the 27th over on my channel, the de it's in the description. If you want to see it in action, I'll be there doing a desert bus run and then interactive games with the community afterwards. So it'd be good to see you if you've got any questions or if you've got any suggestions, that would be a great time. What we are going to be working on in the future is YouTube support and adding multiple timers. So thank you all for dropping by today and getting a little, little look at how the stream timer is. If you've got any suggestions or feedback, you can catch me on Twitter or just in the stream. All the links are in the description below. Thank you for your time. I've been Ghosty Tuna, and Pete's been useful. Well, Pete's been cute. See you next time.